Oh. Huh. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a, another video on Project Vinny, our 2004 Vivaro. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the door lock because ultimately I have a one key which was supplied with the van, which works. Yarp. But it does not lock or unlock the door. It just misses. So, the problem with this is, if you ever get locked, or if your battery ever goes flat, it's under there. It's not underneath, well it is underneath there ultimately, but not underneath my window scraper. So, you've got to get in the van somehow to get to the battery. And if you've only got one key that doesn't fit in the only door lock, in the whole van, which is that one, you got to smash a window to get in, which I don't want to do. So what I did, it's a little bit dark here, I do apologise. All right, let's start this bit again. So I bought a lock set, which includes the door lock, the ignition lock. Now this one, oh, I've got to use the right end, works lovely, see? Does exactly what it's supposed to. But this one has the common problem of, if I can get it to work, it doesn't return. It's supposed to spring back when you start, isn't it? And then it springs back. So that's what happened to this lock originally. This one, the lock, the key stuck on and the starter motor stayed on and it burnt out the starter motor. So they've, that's why it's been replaced. So I can't, I was originally going to Swap this one. It's not that good a key in there. I can't even get it out now. I'll have to fiddle with that. Oh, there we go. So originally I was going to swap the ignition and the door lock together and then change the key fob and keep the blade. But because that one's not working, I think all I'm going to do, especially just for now, it's going to replace the door lock, so even, so if the battery does go flat, at least I can get into the van to get to the battery. So, to do that, I'm just going to move you, oh, excuse me, and move the light. I've got to take the door panel off. So to get this panel off, we've got a T25 there. Oh no, sorry, a T20, T20, a T30 in there and a T30 down in the handle, and then there's loads of pop clips all the way around, which you have to pop off. Oh, not forgetting, got to take the handle off, which I remember, if I remember rightly, you just got to give it a bit of a lever and it'll pop off. I'll set you up and we'll quickly do that. So if we now have a quick look inside the door, you can see there's the lock mechanism, there's the handle on that side. So what we've got, we've got some electrics to take off up there, there's a plug, and then that blue clip's got to be unclipped, and then if you look down behind there, can you see it, there's a little yellow clip, can you see the yellow clip? Just right at the very back, trying to get it in the middle of the screen, there's a little yellow clip we've got to pop off there. And then we should, by taking those out, be able to take that lock out. Can you see from that? Let's get that. There you go. There's the uh, power, or the um, electrical. And you can see that blue clip down there. So yeah, I'll set you up and we whip those bits off and 
See if we can get the handle out. Well, get the lock out before the handle. Well, it took a bit of finagling around, but we got there. So now, hopefully we can see the two bolts in there. Can you see there's one bolt there and another bolt through that hole there. Or oh, say bolt nut. So it looks like a couple of 10 mils. And I think you can access, yeah, you can access that one through that hole and that one through that hole there jubbly let's do that Right, it's all out, all gone, just a bit of a wriggling around and there we have our, that's our old one and that's our replacement one and the part numbers are the same, I don't know if you want to see those part numbers, you could pause it if you need them. So basically, all we've got to do is put that one back in and then rebuild it all and at least we'll have a a key we can get in with even though we will have two keys all right i'll set you up again and we'll quickly whiz it all back together um because basically the replacement is the reversal of the removal Well, that was a bit fiddly, but we got there in the end. Hardest thing is getting your hands in there and doing the, that little blue clip and getting the yellow the yellow clip at the bottom in. I think that was the hardest thing. And also, the rod, when I put it in for that blue clip, was pointing upwards. That's why I had to slide it back out again. But yeah, it all works if I put the light in there. Hopefully you'll be able to see. When you see all the mechanism working and I'll turn the key, see it down there. So yeah, that's good. Um, like I say, most of it was accessible through these little holes. And, oh, hang on, and you can see it all down in there as well. Oh, I haven't put the electrics back in. There we go, that's the electric plug. It's nice and easy, you push it on and then sorry and then as you push it on you push that down and it pulls it in and to get it out you just put a little screwdriver in that gap and pop it open but it's hard to see it there but it's yeah to plug it back in i 
don't know if you even see this. Probably not. How about that? So it goes on there. Just got to pop that on. Press it down. And it's there. Sorted. And to check we're working, we'll uh, pretend to shut the door. And then pull the handle. She opens. Shut it again. Lock it. And then that's good. And I think, yeah, that's gone down as well. So then when we open, should be able to go. Yeah, all good. Excellente. So now, just got to put the panel back on, basically. Oh, and these two little <laughs> bungs. And if you do like what we're doing here and found it of some use, and would like to help the channel grow, please give us a thumbs up. And I forgot to mention about this plastic thing, which just slips in here. And there's two little push clips. I think that's the last words. Two little push clips just go in there and there. Even though I can't do it. There. So to test, open, shut, and lock it, and unlock it. With the key, we can lock it, and we can unlock it. So, sorted. So, short of getting all my grubby fingerprints off of everything, we are sorted. And I'm pleased with that. I know it's not an ideal situation having two keys, but I think what I'll do is I'll get um, a key cut which hasn't got a fob on it, so it's a lot smaller. Um, you know, one with just a plastic key. And uh, ultimately, if we if the battery goes flat, we can get in. I mean, yeah, I know. I, I, I know it's not perfect and it's not the outcome I would have wanted. But if the battery goes flat at the moment, I've either got to smash a window or I've got to call a, uh, a locksmith, which I don't know how much that's going to cost. And I need to get another one of these. So I'm going to spend a bit of money getting a spare key because I lost this key. <laughs> this week um i found it eventually obviously because i got it here but that made me think i need to get a spare key so that's what we're gonna do anyway waffling aside we're sorted it's another little job done um like i say not ideal but badly 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 bad sorry anyway oh and i've got to say i must apologize i'm in a right state because i've actually been underneath this thing as well today uh, but that's a different video so Enough is enough. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along on another Vivaro journey. What fun we have. Little, little adventure. Anyway, um, if you want to look us up on Instagram, we're there. Larks underscore workshop, where we do bits in between sneaky peeks and other stuff that is just stuff. Car stuff, motorbike stuff, bike stuff. 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 I'm waffling on. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Cheers then. Hello, Please give us a thumbs up. And I'll get it right one day. And found it of some informative. Oh, God. He's a grubby bugger then.